Hey, it's Dr. Ruth with TheManualTherapist.com. So I had a reader ask a question uh, who works for a uh, fellow of the American Academy of Orthopedic Manual Physical Therapists like myself. Uh, only his boss is adamantly opposed to doing cervical retraction, citing that they provide shear forces to the discs and potentially uh, could tear their annulus. So uh, if that were indeed true, um, then, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of McKenzie trained therapists all over the world uh, because there is a McKenzie Institute not only in America but in pretty much every major uh, you know civilized country so thousands of McKenzie therapists and, and even thousands and thousands of, of patients of course they're treating would be actually tearing discs and here's the thing about the difference between uh, McKenzie and traditional OMPT OMPT would say that moving to end ranges promotes hypermobility, and that has absolutely never been proven. So um, what we're doing is we're moving in physiologic motions, and those physiologic motions, those physiologic motions are not dangerous. You know, saying that uh, it's okay to flex the neck and not retract the neck is like saying it's okay to flex the elbow, but it's not okay to extend. We are not moving in anything more than physiologic motions. All this is upper cervical flexion and lower cervical extension. And the lower cervical extension is only in a mid-range. If that is going to actually shear a disc, uh, I, I'd like to see a study on that. Because again, the ph physiologically, we, if we can't even deform fascia and potentially not even really deform joint, uh, joint capsules, according to the research, and everything we're doing is neurophysiologic. Again, all we're doing really is going to an end range and firing mechanoreceptors and increasing proprioception and kind of bombarding the CNS with proprioceptive information to reset the area and decrease lockdown. So again, because it's physiologic motion and just overpressure at end range, we're not rupturing anything, we're not tearing anything, we're not shearing anything. It's just physiologic motion to end range. So that is that is absolutely not damaging and it, it's just motion so it's healthy so uh, again therapists all over the world way more there are way more mckenzie trained therapists than uh you know doing this on patients and even patients who are reading treat your own neck and it would be an epidemic of of uh you know disc proportions uh, all over the world if if uh, this was actually a damaging um, exercise. So that, that's my answer to it and that's probably not convincing to him because he's kind of held in his beliefs but do it right in front of him. You know, do do this right in front of him. Go to end range and, and you're not going to get worse. So if it worsens your complaints according to the McKenzie system it would be a red light and you don't do that. So it, it, it's a built-in system of fail-safes with the stoplight rule and, and you should apply that really that rule to any treatment. And uh, if you do that, you're not going to worsen anyone.